Jimmy Dore talks Peter Dow being Dr. West's campaign manager. This is Jimmy Dore talking about the selection of Peter Dow, hated smear merchant of the left. And the announcement has not been greatly received. Like, it may be slightly more than half, like 55%. It's very close. 55% is like, nah, this is terrible idea. And they're off of it. They're off the campaign. I'm being one of them. The campaign was not a campaign that was anything about electing him really he was he's not going to get elected so me being off him as a candidate is really nothing i'm still part of the movement if any movement is built after this that continues after november 2024 i'm going to be with that but do we really think peter dow is going to be the shepherd of this thing this so-called this thing that's going to become a movement after 2024 i don't believe that whatsoever whatsoever but again um, we watched maybe nine minutes of this together earlier today. Other than that, I'm going in blind. So we're watching this together. Cornell West has chosen a new campaign manager. Now, what's interesting about this is, do you remember when I asked him about who's advising him? Remember what I said? And you remember how he reacted? When I say reacted, I mean way overreacted. I was trying to be nice because... He, Cornell West cannot stop saying that Joe Biden is the lesser of two evil and that Donald Trump is a fascist, but Joe Biden isn't. And so Cornell West is basically campaigning for Joe Biden when he says that and he doesn't care. So I said to him this campaign to pick up traction. This is the opposite way to do it. Who's ever advising you sounds like an infiltrator. Well, but, but, but why do you keep saying advising? I'm thinking. So I don't know if you caught what I said. I don't know who's advising you. It sounds like an infiltrator. And then he just snapped. I, what do you think about? He's like he doesn't have any advisors. Why wouldn't you have advisors? That, of course he did. And he was already in talks with this with the guy he just hired, this guy, Peter Dow, who is an infiltrator. <laughs> That's amazing. No wonder Cornell West overreacted because he hired this guy. He said, I am very blessed to have my brother, Peter Dow. Now, if I'm going to tell you who Peter Dow is. Peter. Now, this part, because I was trying to grasp, people were saying when they announced Peter Dow, people were, I saw people saying Jimmy Dore was right, Jimmy Dore. And I didn't understand the logic in how they were connecting the announcement of Peter Dow as a campaign manager to Jimmy Dore being right in the interview. I didn't get that connection. He does give his explanation of why this is a connection. I, this is not, I don't believe that this is the case. I don't believe that. Um, I don't believe that Cornell West at the time when he in, in that exchange in the previous interview with Jimmy Dore was answering a question based off of thinking that, oh, um, I'm answering this because Peter Dow. I'm getting offended because, yeah, I have Peter. Dow. I don't I don't make that connection. I need more evidence than just this to make a connection because let's say he didn't have Peter Dow. He would still be just in being upset because he is saying, I'm my own person. I make my own decisions. You get what I'm saying? So the reaction is still relevant regardless if it's Peter Dow or not. That's why I said, I need more evidence to say that there's some sort of Jimmy was right in this instance per se. Peter Dow was an infiltrator. Peter Dow was one of the hitmen for Hillary Clinton. He smeared everybody 24-7, yes. including myself, including Bernie Sanders, anybody who voted for Bernie Sanders, third-party voters, Jill Stein. This guy was a hitman, one of the most big, the biggest smear merchants for Hillary Clinton's yes. corporatism and warmongering. And so that's why when I asked Cornell West this, I think that's why he overreacted. I was trying to give him an out saying that, hey, your advisor, I, I didn't want to call, say he's having bad ideas. I wanted to say his advisors were. I thought that would be a nice way to say it. Watch how he reacts. Campaign to pick up traction. This is the opposite way to do it. Who's ever advising you sounds like an infiltrator. Oh, but, but but why do you keep saying advising? I'm thinking for myself, brother. I'm a okay, free I don't mean to insult man. you. That's not, a, that's not that's hmm. So I think that's why. So here he is. He announces it. Uh, they're going to work together. Yeah, Los Angeles terrible. presidential candidate. So there it is. Camera. That's I'm the here. announcement. Is so, so what kind of garbage 
is Peter Terrible. Dow known for? He's Dow, he's known for making false attacks on people and hiding behind sexism, racism, misogyny, everything. So when he was working for Hillary Clinton, Chris Saliza tweeted out, it's been 206. So Peter Dow is a disgusting scumbag. And there were some people in the announcement that were like, who is Peter Dow? Why is people so mad? So uh, hopefully we have some of those people who have no idea who Peter Dow is or was. Hopefully some of you are here today to hear that explanation. If not, there is another video you can look up. It's called The Rob Report. Like Robert, like a short version of it. My friend Rob. What's up, Rob? Rob Report. Just look up The Rob Report and type in Peter Dahl when you do a YouTube search. And it'll be this video that comes up from this guy, black guy. Great video. It's a funny video, too. So I've used it many times. Maybe I'll get to it today. But let's listen a little more. 63 days since Hillary Clinton last held a press conference. That's a dangerous president. That's a, that's a year, right? Or almost, a, that's like three quarters of a year, mm -hmm. isn't it? 260? Mm -hmm. Anyway, who cares? It's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> and so he retweets this guy saying, Trump not releasing his tax returns is no problem, though. Okay, those things, things don't have anything to, to do with each other. So that's just them trying to deflect. He retweets it, and then he says this. Make no mistake, the media's obsession with forcing a Hillary press conference is all about her gender. Mm. Do you see how this hurts feminism, how it hurts women, how it hurts the left? And he doesn't care, right? Because that's the kind of garbage person that Peter Dow is. This is what he does. And he's for hire, and he'll do it. And so he's an infiltrator for the DNC. He's a Trojan horse. And now... I, I was wondering why did why did Cornell West why did that get such a big reaction from him? It's because he is being advised by an infiltrator. This guy's an infiltrator from the DNC. He he uh, he 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 earlier in the campaign was working for a Democrat, Mar Marianne Williamson. Yeah. Uh, so the, he's so what he did was he went from the Hillary Clinton campaign, which we he was a big, the most uh, biggest smear merchant there was, the biggest dishonest guy I've ever seen in politics, and that's saying something. And he also worked for David Brock, who's the even more dishonest guy. Yeah. And um, it's more important than Trump's taxes or Trump calling P President of the United States a terrorist. If not, that's called. So he's just doing that. that he's doing that horrible thing. And then he says, so far, not a single critic of my tweet about gender bias against Hillary has read my words precisely. Because that's what you wanted. When you're a writer, you want to make sure you can be easily misinterpreted <laughs> when you make crazy gender. Here's one thing I've been thinking about. Why this is a huge misstep. Organizing wise, this is a huge misstep by the Cornell campaign to pick this guy. You have a Democratic shield. You have a constituency because a third party people who a person who will vote for third party is a person who doesn't like Democrats or Republican. Right. You have a constituency that despise red and blue. That's the whole reason they're voting third party. Right. You hire a person who has been deeply implanted in that swamp at a certain time. Let's say he's recovered. Let's say he's recovered. You know how bad it's going to look if at any point Cornell West goes soft on Joe Biden or doesn't go at him real hard? You know how many people are going to be saying that's because he has a Democratic shield as his campaign manager. That's why he's going soft on Joe Biden when it comes to this. That's why he's going soft on Joe Biden when it comes to that. Because he has a Democratic shield in as his campaign manager. This is a terrible, like strategic. Let's say Peter Dow's great. He's great at what he does. Strategically, this is a terrible move to make. For your own constituency, not the people what they're going to say about you. In order to get people to in invest in your own campaign, this is a terrible idea. Generalizations like that and hide behind sexism and gender and all that bullshit. So that's why Cornell West overreacted, because that's that's who he was. He's working with yeah. an infiltrator. I called it. 
I called it. He's why well, sounds like an infiltrator. He was he is working with an infiltrator. What the hell is so Cornell West is out there repeating the Democratic Party's campaign message, which is Donald Trump is a fascist and Joe Biden is a lesser of two evil. That's the Democratic. That's a Democrat's message. Uh, Cornell West can't stop repeating it. <laughs> and then he and of course, I say, who's advising you? He's being advised by an infiltrator directly from the Hillary K Clinton campaign, who was his job to smear Bernie Sanders and all of his supporters and Bert, by the way, Cornell West was an advisor to Bernie Sanders in 2016 when this guy was doing that stuff. <laughs> this does not bode well for Cornell West. This, <laughs> so he, Peter Dao then tweets out, the support for Cornell West is inspiring from the revolutionary blackout network to Brianna Joy Gray. And guess what? The people from the revolutionary <laughs> blackout network <laughs> call them a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Cornell West campaign manager. This is his... uh, I laugh because the show is so set up like a comedy show, and this is so it's set up like this is a, a, a punchline. That's why I'm laughing. It's so just, I guess, excuse, excuse me. It kind of probably looked weird for me to just bust out laughing like that. But that was so set up like a a uh, punchline, a joke set up. That, that's why I, I thought it was funny. All right. But let's let's get back to what he was saying here. Sorry to throw everything off. All right. Here we go. No West. This, <laughs> so he Peter Dao then tweets out. The support for Cornell West is inspiring from the revolutionary blackout network to Brianna Joy Gray. And guess what? The people from the revolutionary blackout network call them a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Cornell West campaign manager. This is his. He could not have picked. Why not just pick Debbie Wasserman Schultz? No kidding. Wow. Why not? Why, why not pick um, Hakeem Jeffries? Like, do you understand how, why this looks, why this looks bad? Let's say there was a priest who was convicted for doing bad things with a child. Let's say that's the case. Caught, does his time, gets out, intense therapy. He's reformed. Reformed. Does that mean... If we're okay with him running a Boy Scouts uh, troop? Is that what that means? The point being, why are you putting somebody who was on the opposite side in a position of power on now on this opposite side? For example, he was, he, uh, 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 Peter Dow was in the Democratic Party. Now he's a Democratic shield pushing Hillary Clinton. Now he's saying, I'm reformed. Now I'm a Bernie person. That's all fine and dandy. Come with us. You're in community with us. You will not be in a position of power now to fight the very people who you were on teams with. That's the point of not having uh, Peter Dow. Not the fact that he's not uh, rebranding. He's a different person. That's irrelevant. Irrelevant to anything. It's the same thing like, now I have experience with people, you know, crackheads, then they get in recovery. Then they supposed to think, oh, all the things I did when I was a crackhead, oh, uh, just, no, 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 you need to address that shit. Anyway, that's that's a bad <laughs> tangent I'm going on. Let's get back to the video uh, with uh, Jimmy Dore talking about Cornell West and his hiring of Peter Dow, Dow hated smear merchant. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Say she's turned over a new leaf and she really cares. Because <laughs> that's yeah. what you're doing with this guy. Yeah. Revolutionary Compton J says, this piece of shit using RBN to promote his announcement, the political instincts of Dr. West are highly suspect. Yeah. That's RBN saying it, not That's you. RBN. I'm not saying that. Yeah. 
How the hell do you go from an incredible Jill Stein to the nonsense of one of the most hated smear merchants on the left in Peter Conman Dow? So it doesn't appear that Cornell West is really running for president. He's not asked anybody for his vote. He, he didn't ask me for my vote. He tried to find ways to disagree with me. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to do the opposite when you're running for president. Again, I'm not, and I'm not allowed to say any of this because I'm white. I know that. But he's not white, and he's saying it, and they all said the same thing. And when, and when I said that stuff to Cornell West, I was quoting radical black activists, and Cornell West returned the favor by calling me a Trumper. <laughs> you know the thing they do to him all day long? So when he gets... Now, I must say... Because there's one thing that some of you probably know a little bit more than me. That interview, I didn't watch all of that interview. I still haven't watched all of that interview. I guess he had, uh, he got into, they got into an argument about the pandemic and COVID and that. Like, I, I still haven't seen that, that exchange. But apparently it got real heated, um, even more heated than what I had saw uh, about the Joe Biden stuff. But I still haven't seen it. Just wanted to give that up. He gets backed into a corner and he doesn't have an answer. He does the same flex. Whenever you get to the left of someone, that's what they do. And everything he's doing right now, super. I knew it. How did I know? It sounds like you're being advised by an infiltrator. And he is. So is Peter Dow an infiltrator? Isn't he an infiltrator? Is he not that? I don't think to me that's not arguable that he's an infiltrator. And wasn't he just how how this is what's mind blowing? How do how are we let it, how do we have a campaign manager who was just literally three or four months ago the campaign manager of a Democrat? Is it okay we're just hiring people you know uh, 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 campaign managers for hire and not people who believe in the cause? That can't be true. You can't be like, oh, he was just with the Democratic Party several months ago. How much rebranding could he have done in three, four months? Maybe it's longer. Maybe it's more like six months. I, I, I don't remember. Let's listen a little more. Then we're going to wind down. Maybe I'll get to, let me see what other stories I'm missing as I'm playing this video here. Who this infiltrator is? He's a guy who he says, I don't agree with the hashtag fraud squad hashtag. He doesn't agree with that. He didn't agree with that when they wouldn't do force to vote. He didn't agree that they, we should call them fraud squad. Wait, he said he, he was against the fraud squad. I didn't know that about Peter Dow. I did not know that. Let's continue. Squad. He didn't agree with that. That's who that's who is advising Cornell West. Compton J, I'm officially out of the Cornell West camp. Holy cow. That's not Jimmy Dore. My, so, now, can you call him a racist? Is he white splaining? <laughs> it sounds like he's white splaining. Why would is, is Jimmy Dore referring to comments that he's been getting? Because I, I, I haven't been hearing these things. I, I have a too busy of a day to day life to be online as much as I would want to be and know all the details like this. Um, but uh, what are is he being called these things? It's just ridiculous. It's people that already don't like Jimmy Dore are using this opportunity to say this stuff. They didn't like you, Jimmy, in the beginning. They never liked you. And they're using this opportunity, this, this interaction you had with Jimmy Dore, to take advantage of the situation. Because, I, I mean, I don't... I don't I didn't hear Cornell West call you a racist at all. I didn't hear that. But again, um, maybe I think I would have heard if he said that. So he must be hearing that from other people. White splaining. He must be hearing that from other uh, people. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Compton J. White splain like that. Yeah. And he's hiding that white splaining. Behind all that black skin. Yeah. That's very <laughs> sneaky. Very sneaky. White supremacy. Comedy. You would never Come see on. You would never see that white splaining coming yeah. from a black guy. But that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Peter Dow is worse than you think. He's not just a smear merchant. He worked for uh, David Brock, the worst garbage people in the world. 
and he did the most garbage things in the world, and he lied for money because yeah. that's what he he's does. Terrible. He's terrible. He's terrible. So he made the case that he car bombs, missile salvos, street battles, mass kidnappings, rooftop snipers, no electricity, no running water, f food rationing, on and off for 15 years. That was my life in Lebanon civil war and MAGA folks are protesting because gyms are closed for two months. So he doesn't care about the COVID lockdowns mm -hmm. and how they crushed 41% uh, of black owned businesses. Everybody, everybody got. So I'm going to pause it here because Jimmy can say certain things about the pandemic and COVID that we can't. So I don't know how much. So if he says more COVID stuff, I will skip over that part because I just don't want to have any problems. We just got all of our strikes removed by appeal. So I don't want to have this problem again. So let's listen. But if he goes more in deep, I, yeah, I will skip this this COVID part here. Got destroyed. Well, workers got destroyed. Well, small businesses collapsed. And this guy's making fun of it. And we, we have to acknowledge, I... I we have to acknowledge that COVID, or those of us who don't see COVID as large as some others, we have to acknowledge it's bigger than, because I put it as big, but there's people in Jimmy, uh, uh, Pasta, that put it bigger than I even I put it. And it's okay. Like these, these in my show, the show, the political spectrum we did, what I liked about that show is how we all said what was our highest priority, and that what gave us that told that gave us a window into why you thought the way you do. So Jimmy's highest priority is COVID, the pandemic. He was injured. It's very logical for him to have that that position. So this is what something that means something more to him. And this guy didn't care about that, Peter Dow. And I guess he's listening. This is a tweet from 2020. So three years ago, he's listing all the things he had to do um, in the Lebanese something, army or whatever. But anyway, let's let's continue. Guess who else doesn't think it's that big of a deal? Cornell West. Cornell West went out of his way to let me know that he doesn't think it's that important what happened during COVID. That was real fascism on a scale they can't even wrap their minds around. And so guys like Cornell West just ignore it. They can't even wrap their mind around it. He still hasn't corrected when he called Dr. Fauci a paragon of integrity. Mm -hmm. This is that's to the point that I was saying. Like, it's one thing to be like, ah, leaning on my Christian faith. That's fine. And everybody's your brother. But you have to understand how that comes off to people. If you go somewhere and you say Henry Kissinger, hey, I admire something about Henry Kissinger. That's not going to go well. If you go over and say you admire something about something else, somebody else, that's not going to go well. So when you go on these, you say, oh, Dr. Fauci, he's a great, why? Why are you saying that? You go on Meet the Press uh, and you say, what was her name? Wel Welker, I think her last name is Welker. Oh, you're, a you're this and you're great doing this when she's a propagandist. Caitlin Collins on CNN. Oh, you've been doing this in your hometown, this and that. She's a propagandist. So this is a this is a a problem with how you choose uh, how you've lived your life, but you are now in polit politics mode, and that way you lived your life of being the brethren of and if, of everybody is a problem when you are a brethren of people who are destroying shit and covering for people that destroy shit like mainstream media. But let's continue. He still hasn't corrected that. Yeah. Because he's running with the Green Party, which are also completely infiltrated. <laughs> the Green Party doesn't even run, uh, barely runs on green issues. They run on every other identity politics issue. Mm -hmm. That's what the Green Party is turned into. So he says this, and then he says, I grew up in Beirut and was in the Christian militia trained by the IDF. So what was that militia he was in? Well, they committed atrocities. Who did they kill? Palestinians. Yeah. He's bragging about being part. That's so Cornell guy. West's big differentiate thing that differentiates him from RFK Jr. is that RFK Jr. has this odious view on Palestine 
and he calls them all terrorists and everything. It's just a complete backwards thing. The power is in Israel's hands. But Cornell West gets that right. And mm -hmm. so that's the big thing that separates him from, from Bobby Kennedy. Mm -hmm. His campaign manager brags about being part of this massacring militia. Yeah. And who did they massacre? They massacred Palestinians. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he's bragging about. This is I didn't, I didn't know this part. Comes either. right from the Hillary Clinton campaign, smeared Bernie Sanders that Cornell West was a part of that campaign. And the guy's part of a militia that's sla slaughtered. Want to see what they did? It was one of the most harrowing massacres committed in the Lebanese Civil War, a conflict known for its brutality. Shatila, a Palestinian refugee camp, and the adjacent neighborhood of Sabra are located southwest of Lebanon. The refugees were victims of the 1948 Nakba, or catastrophe in Arabic, fleeing the violent ethnic cleansing of Palestine by Zionist militias as Israel was formed. But between September 16th and September 18th in 1982, the refugees now living in Shatila and Sabra, along with Lebanese civilians, were attacked by a right-wing Lebanese militia in coordination with the Israeli army. What exactly happened? In June 1982, Israel invaded Lebanon during the country's 15-year civil war with the stated aim of destroying the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the PLO, mm -hmm. which had been based in Beirut and had been <clears throat> launching attacks on Israel from southern Lebanon. The PLO withdrew from Lebanon by September 1982. Assurances were provided by the United States and multinational force that the remaining Palestinian refugees and civilians would be protected. What happened? Well, two weeks later, the Israeli military besieged Sabra and Shatila and provided cover for their allies, a right-wing Lebanese militia called the Falange, to carry out the mass killings. The killings continued for 43 hours from 6 p.m. Thursday, September 16th, until 11 p.m. on Saturday, 18th of September. While accurate... Wow. This is what Peter Dow was bragging about in the tweet. So you're hiring Democratic Shields and Israeli Shields. Apartheid, or I'm sorry, genocidal Israel Shields. That's what we're doing? These are terrible fucking decisions. Terrible. Figures and the numbers of people killed are difficult to ascertain. Estimates put the death toll between 2,000 and 3,500 civilians. Testimonies from the mass killings describe horrific acts of slaughter, mutilation, rape, mass graves. Images from the aftermath were aired on television worldwide and caused global outrage. Peter Dow claims to be too young to have been at Sabra and Shatila in 82, but claims to have been serving near the embassy bombing in 83. What is going on with Cornell West? Mm hmm. It doesn't look good. There's a question I have too. What what what's going on? 